Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back, my dear brothers and sisters, all those that are listening, all those that are viewing, watching uh, this transmission. Uh, as you know, on my uh, any one of my uh, social media sites, what I try to do is I try to find topics that pertain to Muslims and the religion of Islam and present them. Um, you know, just just present them. Uh, this uh, was sent to me, and I read up on it, and I want to share. So I want you guys to be aware of what's going on. Uh, you know, some some people, some individuals, some of us, uh, if it's not in our vicinity or if it's not uh, happened happening to us per se, uh, sometimes we tend to not, um, you know, not be concerned about it. And sometimes, you know, uh, some of us live in different regions. And so what happens in another region, what happens to another area, and it doesn't per se make uh, headline news. Sometimes we don't hear about it or know about it. So it's, it's good that, you know, we try to, uh, or at least I do, I can't speak for everybody else. At least I try to present um, things that happen to Muslims in other regions. <laughs> This um, in the description below will be the hashtag. Please uh, show show some support. Uh, venture frustrations at this hashtag, because the story that I'm about to tell you, uh, the topic that I'm about to talk about, is you know it's 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 heartbreaking number one, and it's it shows where we are uh, as far as Muslims, how we perceived, how we thought about. Uh, and how we're treated in the world. Um, a Hindu man in the country of of India. I'm not going to say the district. I'm not going to say, you know, uh, which city he's from. But you're more than welcome to, you know, research this topic and to find out more on yourself. But um, he burned, him and his uh, friends, they burned to death a Muslim woman by pouring kerosene all over her body on October the 30th. And this past Sunday, uh, she died or she succumbed to the burns uh, that she received. Um, you know, um, inshallah, God willing, uh, she's granted a paradise, inshallah. Now, in this, the, the woman's or the, the young lady, her family, uh, alleges that police delayed taking action against the accused. Um, and once you, for yourself, read up in the article, you'll find out the names of the, the three individuals. Um, the Muslim lady, she was taken to the hospital with over 75% of her body burned. 75%. Um, from the local hospital, she was then moved to one of the largest hospitals in the Providence or in the province that she's from where on Sunday on Sunday that just passed uh, as I said she succumbed to her injuries now this is where the story gets very interesting because this lady as I said was a Muslim woman and the gentlemen or the group of gentlemen that burned her to death were Hindu so already whatever he wanted from her was already null and void, you know, because a Muslim woman can't marry a Hindu man. So why he's chasing her is beyond my is beyond my, my thought process, beyond something I can, can fathom, but some, beyond something I can understand. Then number two, um, she was uh, engaged or promised to be married to another man, and the marriage ceremony was scheduled for a couple months uh, a couple months down the road. And the Hindu man had been harassing the Muslim lady for months, you know, wanting to marry, wanting to marry, wanting to marry. And then she refused to, to marry in the interfaith marriage because, as I said, she's a Muslim woman and he's a Hindu man. So, you know, we know that, you know, um, you know, we we don't marry um, in Islam. We don't marry our um Muslim women to uh, disbelievers, uh, to non-Muslims. So, 
enraged by the rejection, um, enraged by the denial, uh, the rejection of her not wanting to marry him, this individual and his friends set the lady on fire, poured kerosene all over and set her on fire. Now, I don't care how enraged you are. What prompts you to want to burn somebody that you want to marry? What prompts you to burn her to death? Then number two, I just, I don't know. Once you know that she is engaged to be married, why not just leave her alone? Then number three, something like that is hatred inside a person or inside an individual. Um, rejection doesn't push you that far, far to want to burn someone to death. Sure, you may be mad or you you may want to punch something. Some some people, I'm not saying all people, but some people may want to punch something. Some, But to burn someone to death when you just told this person that you want to marry them or you, you, you're proposing marriage to them and then turn around and burn them to death, you know, come on. Now, the good thing is prior to this uh, uh, Muslim lady um, passing away, um, she made a uh, like a video confession uh, uh, and doing her interrogation and things like that. And um, she said that the three men, they cornered her. She rejected and then they started molesting her. So then, as I said, the angry men, they just poured kerosene on her. Now, um, I don't know. Words can't describe. I mean, I'm lost for words at how something like this happens, how something like this happened, and how these individuals have not been caught yet when their names are known. All of the technology and things like that we have now. It's very simple. It's very easy to track down people, known, um, known accomplices, um, known family members. Somebody has to be willing if you truly want to catch them. So uh, throughout this process, the, the superintendent of the police in the district said the accused p- persons or individuals were on the run. And police teams have been formed to arrest them. And another strange thing about this case is, for some strange reason, the chief of the local police station has been suspended for a botched investigation. Could it be that the chief of that local police station, he was also a Hindu man, and botched the investigation so these individuals could have time to get a head start on their so-called, you know, escape route or escape plan or something like this. Um, But the point I want to make is for Muslims, for the Ummah, uh, for those that are living in Muslim countries and some of the people that bring these Hindu people or these uh, individuals that follow the the faith or the religion of Hinduism, they bring these individuals into their homes. They bring them to work in establishments and other forms of of service. Muslims, yani Omar, the Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi We can find other people, we can find other faiths that are kind, that are not angry, that do not hate Muslims. These Hindu people, and I know you can make the argument or you can make the case, not all of them are like this, but in English, you know, if something is constant and something is consistent, We call this a pattern. And this is not the first time something like this has happened 
between Hindus and Muslims. We can all go on Google. You know, Dr. Google or Sheikh Google now has all types of information. This is not the first time Hindus have done something like this tragic, you know, egregious to Muslims. So, as I said, if it's consistently happening and it's constantly happening, that is a pattern. That is a pattern of they do not like us Muslims. So why in return do Muslims, Muslim countries, and Muslim leaders invite these individuals into your country, into your home, into your work area, into your restaurants, let them cook, let them deliver food? Listen, it's time for us as a Muslim nation, as a Muslim ummah, as a Muslim community, to open our eyes, to open our mind, and not be naive and to think that everyone is nice to us Muslims. Salam alaikum.